a day like any other day. The sun was out, I had an itchy mixer and a pantry full of yeast and flour just waiting to rise to the occasion. There was something off with the ingredient list. There was one item that didn't really seem to belong. What was a big sausage like that doing in a recipe like this? This is a case of the hidden sausage. And you should stick around because we're making sausage kolaches. These savory little breakfast treats are kind of like a donut, but not so sweet. For the kolaches, we're using flour, sugar, butter, salt, eggs, yeast, and we're gonna use some smoked sausage, cheddar cheese, and jalapeno. I'm using the mild sausage so that we can spice it up with the jalapeno for some of them, because not everybody likes it hot. We also used whole milk in these kolaches. It didn't make it to the lineup, but it was in there. We'll start by blooming the yeast. I've got a quarter of a cup of warm water, and then we're gonna add two and a half teaspoons of yeast. That's just one packet, if you happen to have a packet of yeast. And we will just let this sit for about five minutes until it gets frothy. While the yeast is working, I'm melting half a stick of butter, and I'm also gonna warm a cup of whole milk. You just wanna heat that just until it's warm. Once the yeast is nice and bubbly, we will add the melted butter, the one cup of milk. I've got about half a cup of sugar. It's five ounces, so that's just a little bit more. We'll add that in. I've got a teaspoon of salt, and we'll mix this really well. And then I've got about five cups of flour that we're gonna add a little at a time. We may not need the whole milk. Um, and I've got two eggs also going into this mix before we add the flour. I'm going to start out with about half of the flour and then we'll, we'll go from there. What we're looking for is kind of a tacky dough, uh, but once it starts to crawl up the dough hook, we'll know we're ready. Still a little tacky, but the flour is incorporated and it's um, pulled away around the dough hook. Once the dough has doubled in size, we're going to refrigerate it overnight or for at least four hours. Trust me, it's worth it. Once the dough comes out of the fridge, we're just going to roll these into about two and a half inch balls. Um, if you wanted to weigh them, they actually weigh about two and a half ounces. So we will just roll out these balls and then I'm going to cover them and let them rest for 15 minutes before we move on. Once the balls have rested for about 15 minutes, we're just going to flatten them out. So I'm just flattening these, and once we get kind of a little rectangle, I'm gonna add some cheese on the bottom. And then I've sliced some sausages, um, sort of lengthwise, so it's just smoked sausage. Uh, put that on top, and then we will just pull the dough up around that sausage into a tidy little package like so, see how that looks. Um, and then we're gonna put them seam side down on a baking sheet and we will let these rest for 20 minutes before going into a 375 degree oven. oven. And because I like it spicy, uh, for some of these, I'm gonna add some fresh jalapeno, um, but be sure and mark the ones that you add the jalapeno to. You don't want anybody that doesn't like spicy stuff uh, to bite into one of those. And after about 25 minutes, here's what you get little sausage donuts. So check these out. They look pretty awesome. I could have added an egg wash um, to keep them shiny on top. I forgot to do that, but they still look fantastic. There's that awesome sausage in the middle with um, that cheesy goodness wrapped around it. Um, if you make these tonight, you can have them for breakfast. I'm just saying. See you next time.